Hey, this is Thomas. Someone sent me this headset part because he tried to add some small details on a curved surface with a boolean. He asked me to show him how to connect it to the main model and how to clean the topology problem because he was struggling with it. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's get started. So first, let's add some subdivision because the model is too low poly. We need more polygons to work with. To do that, select an edge loop that you want to keep sharp and press Shift E1, the edges are going to turn purple. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier, apply it, and now you can apply the boolean modifier as well. Let's turn on vertex snapping and auto merge vertices, and let's connect the corners. To protect the shape from being distorted, I'm going to add a bevel. But first, let's remove the unnecessary edges and connect the edge loops that can easily be connected. You can do it with the knife tool or by pressing J. It's up to your personal preferences. Let's add a bevel. Press Ctrl B and then P to adjust the angle of the bevel. Slide your mouse to the right to get a 90 degrees angle. I'm getting rid of that upper edge loop because I don't need it. Now I turn every polygon to quads by connecting the vertices of the angles. And I have to do it for every angle. As you can see here, the bevel did something weird, so let's grab the vertex and slide it along the edge by pressing G twice. Let's do the same here, press GG. You can turn off auto merge vertices if they merge when you slide them. Do the same to the other side and let's add an edge loop to connect the two vertices by pressing J. And now I'm left with two edge loops that I can't connect, so let's do what is called an edge reduction. I'm going to connect them together by using the knife tool. You can press shift while drawing your edge loops, so that way they are going to be created at the center. To reduce the two edges, Click in the center of a polygon and connect the vertices to a corner, just like I did. Now that everything is connected, I can add two support loops and add a subdivision surface modifier. And we are done! The shading is perfect! And this is how you can add small details on your models with booleans. Don't be afraid of using them, because they are very easy to clean. You just have to have enough polygons, especially on curved surfaces. If you want me to show you more examples, you can ask me in the comments. If you would like me to make a 3D modeling video about something you're struggling with, you can send me a request at this address. All you have to do is to provide me a reference picture and I will make a tutorial about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.